Now, I've noticed uh, sometimes when I recommend bile salts for certain uh, people, um, their memory gets better. Their brain fog goes away. Their immune system improves. Heart function improves. So I did a little digging and found an interesting connection between your bile and your brain. And I want to talk about it. What happens when your bile becomes thicker because the ratio of cholesterol to bile is off? In other words, you have too much cholesterol and not enough bile. Things get thicker. And so because the bile is produced by the liver, and it's supposed to drain through these little tubes, these are called ducts, bile ducts, into the gallbladder. If it gets stuck right here, it's called coleostasis, okay? And coleostasis is really like stasis, meaning not moving cholesterol. So everything's kind of stuck there because a person has a deficiency of bile. Bile helps to thin and break down the cholesterol and it helps the flow. So what happens now is the bile backs up and the bile is like a detergent. It's very, very toxic to your liver. So it starts creating inflammation, liver damage, and now we lose our ability to detoxify. Now the liver doesn't store toxins. It actually turns toxins into harmless particles, but there are toxins flowing through the liver. And if it can't detoxify, it backs up into the blood and that goes right up into the brain and that starts creating brain damage specifically to the hippocampus. And that relates to both short-term and long-term memory. So I notice when you start to recommend certain things to get this straightened out, a person's brain fog and memory can improve. So the solution is bile salts, okay? And going on a low carb diet and making sure that your fats are high. You don't wanna do a low fat diet if you have problems with the bile. Why? Because it's the fat that triggers the production of bile. So it's not that the person's eating too much cholesterol. It's they just don't have enough bile to emulsify and break down the cholesterol. And if they go low fat, then they don't trigger the production of bile and that can actually build up. Usually when people do low fat, they do high carb. And the high carbs are gonna actually convert into cholesterol and now you're not going to be able to trigger your own bile. So you have a situation where we have too much cholesterol uh, from this conversion with not enough bile. So this is what you need to do right here. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, 
if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.